In this screencast, I show you how to visualize results from V3FNPF. As an example, I use the benchmark case of the experiments by Beji and Batius from 1992 of wave propagation over a submerged bar. It's a 2D case, and therefore there's only one cell in the Y direction. I'm opening the file now. All the results that you can visualize in ParView, the VTU files, are found in V3D FNPF VTU for the outputs relating to the V3D FNPF model. Double click, and all the outputs from the simulation are collected under the top EVTU option there. Double click, you have all the results imported into ParView. You can see a maximum of 1,199 files are available in this set. Hit apply. You don't see anything. You need to click on Y positive, so set view direction to positive Y, meaning the XZ plane is then shown. And there you can see the domain comes into view. Because of the setup of the uh, fully nonlinear potential flow model in V3D, the use of the sigma grid, the domain that is visualized when you import the files by default is uh, quite small in the Z direction. To fix that, we just increase the magnification in the Z direction. To do that, while read through the FNPF, the main file that you've loaded into Paraview is active or selected, so you see the blue highlight. Just go into the search bar in the properties uh, toolbox and look for transformation, transforming. By the time you type TRA, you get the transforming options show up. And look at the option scale, the second one here, and increase, say, the scale in the Z direction say to 10. Hit enter, so now you can see the domain as you entered it. There's the gap of the structure, that is the submerged bar. Let's also include the object. Using the S command, the object will be output as read3d underscore solid dot VTP. Import that, hit apply. Again, since we have scaled the output files by 10 times, the solid object in the domain also needs to be scaled up 10 times in the z direction and there you go that hole the uh, the cut up part in that domain is filled by the object let us color the domain by velocity let's choose velocity x for the purpose of this visualization a color bar appears you can drag it in here you can edit the title of the color bar and other options by clicking on that second option here that says edit color map. We have selected velocity x, so let's edit the legend properties to u underscore x. If you're interested, you can also enter a unit. That's right, and then we hit apply. You can see that change that is reflected on top of the legend. We can close this. You can zoom in a little bit. And now you see this is a feature or a bug in the newer versions of Paraview where these numbers overlap has got to do something with the size of the window. It will change as you change the size of the window and also re. Um, rescale the data range of the color bar there you go so yeah at this particular range it seems to be improving it's something to do with the size of the window anyway not so much of a concern not a problem with v3 so i won't go into details there so at zero you have the velocities in the domain you see the structure and you hit play and you have the waves propagating in the domain that's the visualization of waves in Reef 3D FNPF.